Okay, everybody, uh, welcome back. My name is Mr. Isaacs, and I teach game design and development at uh, William Annan Middle School in New Jersey. And I see somebody just joined in my game, which is totally fine. Just don't, uh, don't, don't do too much while you're in there yet, okay? So we're going to be playing around with, um, again, this is Minecraft Education Edition. And one of the greatest things that I realized the other day, thanks to a student who... Um, tried this and when he was trying it I was absolutely convinced that it would not work and and indicated that I did not think this would work but I thought it was great to give it a try um, what he did was so let, oh, let me step back a second actually so when you're dealing with an NPC in Minecraft Education Edition okay first off I need to have World Builder on in order to place an NPC. That's the first thing you'll have to know. But NPCs in Minecraft Education Edition allow you to name them, have dialogue, and then has some advanced settings. Okay, you can add a URL to take somebody outside of the game to a website, but my favoritist thing in terms of NPCs is that you could give them commands. Now, what I always thought was cool enough was that you could give them up to six individual commands, and I, thought that like a command block, you could just put one command in each of these. Well, hold on to your hat for a second, because, let's see if I can get rid of these, all right, because you can actually stack commands or put multiple commands in one NPC, and that NPC will execute all of them. Uh, this is something I personally have been wanting forever in command blocks, and um, keep begging for and will continue to beg for, but the fact that you can do it in the NPC is uh, definitely a step in the right direction, and I'm super excited. So let's get started with that. So I can, for example, let's say I just want to do something simple like summon a pig above my head and maybe summon a, what else should I summon? A zombie above the pig and whoops summon a what should i summon i i don't want a, a villager okay not the not an enderman yet and the villager i'll just set five space five uh you know on from me on the x-axis so these tilde is just so you know that just means relative to where i am so a tilde with nothing after it means the x coordinate where i am the tilde with the 10 means 10 above me because of the y, and this tilde means just right where, you know, the same x coordinate that I'm on. But anyway, so I'm going to start with this. So I, I go back out here. I have to turn off World Builder. I could toggle it with WB again. And now I right-click on my NPC, and there they are, okay? So I just summoned three things from one NPC, which is cool. And in, in my class, Game Design... There are a lot of times where people might want to decide to spawn or summon a number of different things at the same time, maybe even in different places in the game. Now, I'm going to go a little further with this. So what I think is especially cool is, let's say I want to, you know, there's also code connection for Minecraft, which allows you to code in some languages uh, or some block-based coding environments like Scratch, Tinker, make code um, and code.org, which I absolutely love. Um, one of the only challenges with that right now is that I can code and have things happen in the world while I'm connected to Code Builder, but I can't really carry that code with me into a game setting. In other words, you know, maybe in the future, I'd be able to uh, take that code and create a uh, command block with it. That would be cool, but at the moment I cannot. But what I can do, Let's say I want my NPC while they're at it to fill an area. And let's say I start where I am, and I want to fill to, let's say, a 10 by 10 by 10 area with, let's just TNT. say, well, we can do TNT at some point. Um, let's start with a diamond block. And I want it to be hollow, so if I do zero hollow at the end, it will make that hollow. Okay, now... I want to then, let's say, have my NPC that I'm working with right now teleport. Let me do this. Oof. Teleport to, let's just say, um, oh, 
sorry about that. Let's see, TP tilde. No, actually, let's say I want him to go 11, you know, on the X. So he's going to keep building. Like, really what I'm going to do here for argument's sake for this purpose is I'm going to build a number of buildings or a number of rooms that are each going to be, let's say, 10 by 10 and hollow. So in other words, let's say I wanted to make a game where there was a maze where you had to go through all these different rooms or escape these different rooms and whatnot. This would allow you to do it. So, um, and again, so I'm going to now make it, um, again, 10 by 10 by 10. And, oh, no, I'm lying. I'm just, all I want to do is, is teleport him there, okay? Now I want to do this whole fill thing again, right? Now, I don't, well, actually, I might be able to. What I really want to do, but I don't know if it'll work, I want to copy and paste this. I don't think this is going to work, but let's try. Copy. I don't think it's going to work, but I've been surprised before. Oh my gosh, it worked. Okay, so what I did there was I just kind of highlighted that, um, <laughs> but you couldn't see the highlighting in the editor. So I highlighted it, copied and pasted it, and now I'm going to do another one of those, right? Then TP. Um, oops. 11, boom, boom, and then fill that another one of those with diamond blocks, right? Then I'm going to TP him. Let's say I now decide to go up above and, and create another one. I might go that, and then do another fill, and then maybe even on top of that. Whoops, that's not right, is it? Nope. Uh, and then fill one more. Let's just try that for now. So really what should happen in this is I should summon a pig, summon a zombie, summon a villager, and fill one, two, three, four, five of these like 10 by 10 diamond block rooms that should all be hollow. Let's see if it works. And Abra, Kadabra, and there we have it. So that just built immediately by my NPC because of those commands. And again, like I said, these are all 10 by 10 rooms that let's say I want to use for my, they're all should be hollow. Okay, I could decorate them, I could put torches in here, I could create something out of them. You get it? So that's the idea there. And there you have it. Just think of how much I could do in a short period of time if I wanted to create like an arena for my game or something or was, and look, it's an L. I could do some crazy pixel art with this, I suppose. Um, so anyway, I hope that makes sense and hope you can under, you know, kind of see the value in this, in stacking these commands in an NPC in terms of, um, and again, this can happen right in the game. So as a player enters an area, I can have the player um, right click on the NPC and then have this structure just build immediately. So in my seventh grade class, a lot of kids do um, Jack and the Beanstalk. So I could imagine here doing something where when they trade the beans, is that what they have? They trade the beans um, or they trade the cow to the uh, NPC. It could, uh, you know, immediately build the huge uh, beanstalk for them. So anyway, hope you enjoyed that and uh, there will be more cool videos to follow. Thank you. Bye-bye.